in America we have rights and people forget how to win with the Lord winning with the Lord might lead you to poverty winning with to the with the Lord might lead you lead you to grace Winning with God means giving up everything sometimes in order to win God's house. You see, God's house is full of people who love people. God's house is full of people who love to serve. God's house is willing, really full of people who are willing to listen and not get unnerved. The liars of America don't want to listen for hours, but they don't want to hear from God. I can sit there and channel for someone and they'll be thrilled and the minute they leave they'll go talk about it with someone and the whole thing will be ruined. That is the satanic force in a human to dismay that child who just found God today. The liars of America are always impressed by that shyster, that mentalist who can read them but that's not me. What I'm most impressed about are people like Teresa Caputo who know what to do with people to get them to regard the holy tree. The Holy Tree is really what she's sharing with people, but she has to call it something else to get the entertainment factor out there, to get the education out there, and openly to get the love out there. That there still is a Holy Spirit, there still is a Holy Land, there still is a Holy Space that we cannot find in anything created by man, but openly people still don't believe it. And what I mean by believe it is that they don't believe it. They don't want to believe that Christ is present. They want to have their holy works. They want to have their Bibles. They want to have their jerks who work from the pulpit. But openly, they don't want to give God his due. To give God due, you have to know the Holy Ghost. And if you don't know the Holy Ghost, that's on you. The Holy Ghost is pretty amazing. The Holy Spirit lifts us up. The Holy Spirit gives us lessons. And the Holy Spirit says, get out of there before it's too late.